With the new feather update in Rive, now you can add shadow and glow effects without any workarounds. To apply the feather effect, you can select any shape and alongside the fills and strokes, you will find a new feather icon, which we can click to add the feather effect. When we do the same, we get the feather effect on the shape and the fill rule of the shape layer is changed to clockwise. To notice the difference, I can go ahead and revert it back to the original state and then add another path inside of the shape layer. So you can go ahead and duplicate the path inside and we can create a shape like this, which has intersection right here. Let's say I want that to be left out by the fill. So I can go ahead and simply set the fill rule to even odd and we get that behavior or I can go ahead and set it to non-zero and change the direction of one of the parts. So I can go ahead and select this one, go to the vertice editor and simply reverse the direction like this. And now we get that hollow effect. And that's the non-zero and the even odd fill rule. But if I go ahead and set it to clockwise, then no matter the intersection or the direction of the path, every shape will have the clockwise direction. And that's why we won't get any intersection. And the clockwise fill rule is required when we want feather for our shapes. So when I go ahead and enable the same by clicking on the feather icon, or enabling it in fill options like this, we get this locked, that is the fill rule. So that's something you should take a note of. Now we can go ahead and customize our feather effect, that is we can change the direction, we can change it to inner, or we can go ahead and set it to outer, and I can go ahead and remove the extra path as well, we add it for demonstration, and then we can control the amount of the feather as well, with this value right here. Now it's crucial you understand the difference between blur and feather effect. If you apply blur to any object, then that needs to be rasterized, that is converted into an image and then blurred out. But for feathering, it can be directly applied on vector shapes and that results in better performance. In Drive, we have just that. We can feather out the fills and strokes of vector shapes. Now this feather is applied on the fill itself, that is the fill we had. If we want it on top of the existing fill, we can simply duplicate the same. That is, I can go ahead and remove the feather effect and then duplicate the same by right clicking on the current fill and duplicating the same. And then I can go ahead and add the feather on the layer, which is down below. And we again get the same message as before. That is the fill rule has been changed to clockwise. We are okay with that. And now we get a glow effect like this. We can go ahead and change the amount to our desired value. Instead of a glow, if we want a drop shadow, we can go ahead and change the color to be darker and then offset it as well. That is right now it is in the dead center, but we can go ahead and offset it using these values right here in the horizontal direction and the vertical direction as well and achieve a shadow like this. So you can use the feather effect for glows as well as shadows. You will notice we have another option under the feather effect that is the space. By default, it is set to world, which means if we go ahead and move the shape around, the feather effect will follow the same. If we scale it, the feather effect will scale as well. But if I go ahead and rotate the same, then it won't rotate as we expect. That is, it will maintain its offset, which is this right here. But if we want to rotate it with our shape, then we can simply go ahead and set the space from world to local. And now if I go ahead and rotate the same, now the feather effect will rotate along with our shape that is from the origin point. Similarly, we can add inner shadows and inner glows as well, simply changing the direction of our feather to inner. And you notice the same here, I can go ahead and change the color to a lighter shade and place it above the normal fill 
layer and we have the feather effect right here i can go ahead and control the amount and offset the same as well to the right as well as to the bottom like this and i can add multiple fill layers and feather them out as well to stack the effect so i can go ahead and duplicate this fill layer change the color to a darker version of the background color and then change the offset of the same and we have something like this one cool thing to note here is that if a fill layer has the feathering effect applied the feather icon is blue in color and if it does not has the feather effect it will be gray in color so this is our base layer and these two are the feather effects with the inner direction i can go ahead and add a shadow as well simply duplicating this one and the one beneath i can go ahead and feather it out and offset the same to the right Just like the fill layers, we can apply the feather effect to strokes as well. You will notice the feather icon right beside the strokes. If I go ahead and apply the same, we get it feathered out. We can control the feather amount. That is this right here. We can change the space as well, offset the same. Now, if we want to create the glow for the original stroke, which is this right here, we can go ahead and simply duplicate the same and stack the feather effect. That is, I can go ahead and duplicate this stroke and feather the one at the bottom and change the amount to my liking to get the glow effect on this stroke. Now, one thing to note here is if we have trim paths and we change its trim options, then we have to change the glow as well as you can see the glow does not change because it is a different stroke so i can go ahead and change it and sync it with the original stroke in animations that will mean keying in both the original stroke and the feathered stroke to get the desired animation and the glow effect on our stroke like this and that's the feather effect in Rive. Now that we've covered the same, let's create this animation using the feather effect. Subscribe for update on the same and see you in the next one.